I just want to make a quick disclaimer before this video starts. I am not responsible for the use of your radio. I'm also not responsible for your radio. So you do so at your own risk. Um, using one of these radios on the PMR frequencies is not illegal. Uh, this whole video is just for educational purposes only. So let's get on with the video. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. And today we're going to be working with the Kuangsheng UV5K. So what I'm going to show you today basically is like the previous video I did with the Baofang is I'm going to show you how to use this radio on the PMR 446 frequencies so you can take this radio and communicate to other walkie talkies. You'll probably find that a lot of your friends have general walkie talkies and you want to talk to them but you're pretty invested in kind of the radio scene I guess you could call it. So you've got one of these and you don't want to go out and buy a, a walkie talkie whether you prefer the usability of this or it just looks a lot nicer. So I'm basically just going to be able to show you how to communicate between a normal walkie-talkie. Pause. Carry on. Three, two, one. So as you can see, I've got a few things in front of me. So I've got a computer and I've got the Chirp software downloaded and I've also got the Kuangsheng software downloaded. Now it's your choice which one you'd prefer to use, but regardless, you're going to need to use the Chirp software because we need to log into our normal walkie-talkie and see the squelch settings or the tone mode so we know what tone squelch is going to be outputted by the radio. Also what I've got is I've got a USB cable that is a programmable USB cable for radios. So as you can see it has got the two prongs. So you just take your radio, open up the side where it's the microphone at and the headphones jack and then you're just going to basically place this all the way in like so I did it firmly like that because if it is loose it's not going to work and you'd be surprised the amount of times that I've, oh, that I've had this issue and is it going to be the exact same on the programmable radio as well, well on the walkie talkie should I say it's going to be the exact same so as you can see there's the audio and jack port you're just going to plug it in so we are going to need chirp for this so we're going to be able to pull up the tone squelch settings as I said so what I mean when I go on about this is basically the tone squelch which on these walkie talkies are 114.8 it is kind of like when your car needs the clutch pushed down for it to start you can turn the key or press start all you want but unless it sees that thing input first it's not going to do it and it's the same with these radios so these walkie talkies are looking out for that tone squelch before they start playing the speaker and if they don't get that tone squelch they're not going to play it because it doesn't think anything's talking. So we're going to move on to the computer now. And then we're going to start doing the programming. I'm going to show you the data to input. I've basically found out which ones it, you need for the Quan Shen. Um, so um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it on the Chirp if you decide to plug the Quan Shen into Chirp and do it. And I'm also going to show you how to do it on the portable radio CPS, which is Quan Sheng's own software. So we're going to move over to the computer now. Hopefully the microphone is better than it was last time. I think I'm going to record off something externally. Uh, OBS was just not playing games and it was making a right hissing noise. So we're going to move over to the computer now and show you what to do. Hello everybody. So now you can see I've moved over to my computer. So I've got the radio that I want to view um, what PMR settings that they are using. So for me it is going to be a Retivus or Retivus, however you pronounce that. For you, it may be a Motorola, it may be a different one that one of your friends is using. You may even be able to get the settings online, but right now, all I'm doing is I'm going to get the settings off this radio because I need to see the squelch tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this radio on. Hopefully, you'll be able to see this video in the corner of the screen. I'm going to then place into the radio the double jacks. Make sure it's firmly in place, and then I'm going to take the USB and plug that into the computer. So you would have heard a little beep tone like mine. I do believe this is the same for Mac, but it may be different. I don't have a Mac, so I'm not too sure. So I'm going to go onto the Chirp software. And then as you can see, we're on the Chirp software. I'm going to click radio and then I'm going to click download from radio. So the next thing I'm going to do is choose the port. For me, it is COM5. Now, if it doesn't show any USB port, the first thing you want to do is go onto Baofang's website. And then you want to look for the USB cable that they sell because in the settings, in the settings, in the page, if you scroll down, you will see software and you'll be able to download the driver for this USB cable. 
once you've done the driver restart your computer load shit back up you'll see port as you can see there's custom help me or there's usb so i'm just going to hit the one that it shows which is usb the vendor for me is retivus you can change it however you like to whichever one is yours but me personally it's retivus the model i'll be using is the rt619 so there it is once you've typed in all these details hit okay it's going to clone the radio and hear the settings. So on the left, you can see all of the channels for the PMR. Um, you can write these down or if you can remember them, you can do. Again, this tab won't close unless you close it, so you can jump between tabs. Then the tone mode is what we need to pay attention to. So as you can see, the first eight tones are TSQL tones, and then the tone squelch is at 114.8. Now, like I said in the video before, the radio is looking for this tone before it starts communicating the sound um, and this is the tone that it gives off when it does communicate so we need this to be correctly inputted which is where the issues have been coming from you can type the frequency in but without doing this tone scratch it doesn't work and then you, you can see the bottom eight at 26 these are just a DTCS it's just another type of tone the power mode will be NFM um, and then the power on this radio is low but for the Quan Shen, it is going to be high. I'm not too sure why, but when I used the Quan Shen on low, um, it just wouldn't transmit the audio like I wanted it to. So um, I've been able to mess about with the settings on the power. Hitting high, it works. So the next thing I'm going to do, me personally, I use Quan Shen's own radio. Uh, software to do this so i'm going to disconnect the usb disconnect the radio and place that to the side and i'm going to take my quam shen radio i'm then going to plug it in the exact same as the radio push it into the, the double audio jacks make sure it's firmly in place turn the thing on let it power on and then we're going to take the usb cable and we're going to plug that straight into the computer and we've had another tone and then on the radio there is a little led light and it should say blue when it's blue it understands that it's plugged in and then all i'm going to do is hit settings com settings make sure we're on the correct one which is com5 i'm going to hit connect and then i'm going to hit read in so this is now going to read what i've input on the radio and all the radio settings so as you can see on the left we've got base info we've got function key we've got common settings all of them lot so we're going to hit okay so now if I hit base info, I can see the software. What we're interested in is the MR, the memory channels. So as you can see, this is the settings that I have got inputted for their memory channels. So as you can see, these are 1 to 16, the exact same as the radio was, um, with all the correct frequencies that are matching. So if you want to edit this, all you need to do is double click and then channel name, call it what you want. I just call it channel 1. Frequency, we're going to input the frequency. Transmit power, we want to tab that to high. The receive tone, for this one, it is a CTCSS tone. And then the bandwidth, I've just left it at 12.5 kilohertz. I don't want to put it as 25 hertz. Uh, the receive subtone. So as you noticed on the tone squelch for this one, the, the tone squelch is at 114.8. So for the first eight channels, we're going to go receive sub audio 114.8 and then send sub audio 114.8 so it's going to receive audio at 114.8 like a normal radio would a uh, normal walkie talkie would and then every time you talk on this radio it's also going to send that tone with it so it makes that radio start playing the speaker sound so as you can see these settings here we've got high power ctcss so make sure these match subtone 114.8 then we're going to hit okay now the first thing you need to check, so on the bow fan, the frequency step was set to 12.5, but on this, we need that frequency step to be 6.25 kilohertz. Now, when you're inputting these settings on the bow fan, or the bow fan, the Quang Sheng radio, it will automatically choose the frequency step as 6.25 kilohertz. You don't have a choice to change that. That's a good thing. So on the bow fan, you use a 12.5. For some reason on this one, you use a 6.25 kilohertz. Um, I've not really delved deep into why, but it seems to work. I've checked the channels um, 1 through to 16 on each single one, and it works. Every channel works. 
with a normal radio walkie talkie so this is great work so as you can see the first eight we've got the frequencies input so the receive and transmit frequencies are right here so we're going to make sure they match so all you're going to do is you're either going to look online at the pmr frequencies or if you'd really like to just go on to the chirp software and retavis and just copy and paste the frequencies off this make sure they're both on receive and transmit so i'm just going to leave this on the screen now for a few seconds just so you can pause this video and you can take all of the settings as you can see on here so we're going to make sure if it's high power make sure that as you can see for channel 9 it's the dcs and then obviously the subtone is 26 so it's the exact same we're just going to change the receive tone instead of it being the ctcss it's just going to be a dcs tone make sure all of these are correct so high power it's the exact same for them all so high power type in your frequencies for each one dcs 26 I, i'm drilling this in just because as long as you match this up we're going to be okay and then if we just scroll down this side as well as you can see again this is what the settings are so you can see for this is the transmit side of things they'll both want you input it they'll both be on there so you can see everything's here 26 the frequency step make sure it's at six 0.25 hertz and all of this is just off 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 and no we, we're not going to touch any of that we're not messing with any of that we don't need any of that today so as you can see i'm hoping you've been able to pause that so now we've got that once you've input those settings to send that then to the radio all you're going to do is press write out then what this is going to do is this is just going to send all of that data to the radio i'm not going to press it because everything's to is, is everything's programmed in and i don't really want to mess anything up not that it should but i'm not going to do that but once you're done we're just going to hit right out you're done start testing it make sure it works now for anyone who doesn't want to use about um kuang sheng's radio that's not a problem you don't have to do that so for this all i'm going to do is close this we're going to hit radio download from radio and then our vendor. So our vendor is Kuang Shen. So let's have a look. Du, 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 ABCD, ABCD. There it is. Kuang Shen. It's, it's not in alphabetical order looking at it. Oh, it might be actually. I'm just going crazy today. All right. Hit OK. UVK5. We're going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK again. So now this is doing the exact same as the other software was doing. It's just downloading. Right, here we go. So this is the settings and how they look for the Chirp software. So I've named them channel 1 through to 16, as you can see. So the tone mode <clears throat> is going to be TSQL. The tone squelch is going to be 114.8. So what you're going to do is click on here, TSQL. It's going to ask you what the tone squelch needs to be, and you're going to press 114.8. Then we're going to move across, we're going to go to mode, we're going to put it as NFM, just the exact same as the radio was, NFM, we're going to put it onto there, it's just narrow band. And then for the tuning setup, you're going to put it as 6.25. Now on the bow fan it was 12.5, but on this it's 6.25. For the power we're going to set that as high for everything, um, and again all of this is just going to be left alone. So all I'm going to do is leave this on the screen. So hopefully you've paused the video, you've taken the time to input everything into Chirp. Once you are completed, the usual setup, upload to radio, it's going to upload. And then just hit OK. It's going to save everything that you've done it on. Make sure the serial port's good. Hit OK. And then that's going to upload. And then you're now going to be able to communicate with other walkie-talkies on the PMR446 frequency. Now, as previously said, it is not legally to use these radios on this frequency. Um, I don't condone using it, I'm not encouraging it, I'm just literally, this whole video is just for educational purposes, it was just for me, I was looking online, no one's been able to do it, I was like, I want to be able to do it, I want to be able to show people how to do it also, which is what I've done. So thank you for watching this video, I'm going to quickly just give you a demonstration of the walkie talkie um, talking to the Kuang Shen to show that the Kuang Shen can receive. I'm not going to do vice versa because it is illegal to communicate on the PMR frequency with this Kuang Shen. So thank you very much for watching and we're going to move outside to show this demonstration. So right now I'm on my wireless microphone. So as you can see I've got the walkie talkie. This is the Bo Sheng setup here. I'm going to be communicating over this retivus. So I'm going to disconnect my wireless microphone and then you'll be able to hear it coming out of 
the Kuangsheng microphone. Now I'm not going to talk into the Kuangsheng onto the walkie-talkie because that is not legal to do so. But this is just going to be a demonstration to show that I can be listening on the Kuangsheng and you can also communicate on the Kuangsheng as well. So my microphone settings have probably completely changed. I don't know how good they are on the iPhone, so I'm just going to step away just so it's not too much interference and then we should hopefully be able to hear the audio coming from the Kuangsheng from this, this radio. So I'm just going to take a step back and start talking. Hello. Hello, testing. Testing to see if this works okay. As I can see, it is working fine. So as you can see, that works totally fine. And if I was to now communicate from the Kuangsheng into these other radios, it would work totally fine as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.